In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use adversity as an asset. Because no matter who you are, if you're breathing just like me, you've experienced some kind of challenge in your life. Because the one thing about life is that you're either in a problem right now, you're headed towards one, or you're just getting out of one. But all of us fall in one of those three categories. But the key thing is how do you handle the adversity? How do you make an obstacle into an opportunity? And years ago, a coach from the University of Alabama, his name was Coach Bear Bryant. One of the most important games of his entire career was decided in the fourth quarter. He was up by six points with less than two minutes left to go in the game. He gave specific instructions to his quarterback to go in and just run the clock down, easy as that. His quarterback went in and decided that he was gonna do something different than what his coach instructed because in his mind, Everybody is expecting us to play it safe. So what he did is he went in the huddle and he caught a pass play of all things. Just so happened he passed the ball and it was intercepted by one of the fastest people in the, the entire NCAA at that time. He was one of the fastest people in college altogether. He was a cornerback. This guy intercepted the ball and was almost at the touchdown. The quarterback, keep in mind, he wasn't known for his you know, world-class speed or sprinting or anything like that. But when he threw this interception and he saw who caught the ball, immediately he had a decision to make. And the decision that he made was, I have to run after this guy. Now keep in mind, logically, he didn't have a chance. But emotionally, he ran after this guy, and believe it or not, he ran this guy down from behind, a quarterback now, of all things. After the game, the coach from the opposing team congratulated you know, the other coaches, and one of the first things he said, what is this business about your quarterback not being a runner? Your quarterback ran my fastest guy down from behind. This is what Coach Bear Bryant told him. He said, your guy was running for six points. My guy, he was running for his life. Because see, it's all about how do you respond to adversity? What is going to cause you to, to act even beyond what it is in your own capabilities? Because the thing about adversity is you have to act your way out of the situation. Sometimes it's not even about thought. And ACT for me is really an acronym, A-C-T, which stands for Accept Responsibility. Correct the things that's needed, but always stick to the truth. Because so often when adversity comes, the first thing we do is just give up. And give up is the last thing we should do because we're supposed to act. You know, I once heard that nobody accomplishes more through meditation than through movement. So what that means is whenever you get in a situation, you have to act, you have to move. And that act is, a, again, the acronym ACT, acceptance responsibility, correct the necessary changes that need to be made, but more importantly, stick to the truth. Sticking to the truth is very important because so often when we make mistakes, the first thing that we do is have this internal conversation in our head. And some of the things that we tell ourselves and that we hear, it's not true at all. It's all emotional and most of it is just somebody's opinion. Because you take that same quarterback who threw the interception, had he not caught the guy and chased him down and they lost the game, what, is he a bad person? No. But I can guarantee you that if he lost that game, so much of what's in his head would be negative thoughts that are just feeding from negative opinions that he's talked about himself. But if he just stick to the truth, the coach told me to do something, I didn't do it, and as a result, we lost the game. That's simple and plain, just sticking to the facts. But more importantly, how do you use adversity as an asset? Think about all of the ways that you can maximize this moment. How can you use this opportunity to take an obstacle and serve yourself with it instead of beating yourself up with it? Because I tell you what, nobody ever wins in the battle of life by beating themselves up. So I wanna encourage you, whenever you face any kind of adversity, the first thing to do is figure out how can I serve myself by seeing this and utilizing it as an asset. And the first thing that you want to do is go through the process of ACT. How do you act this out? Accept responsibility, make the necessary corrections, but more than anything, just stick to the truth. This has been Chris Cannon, your encouragement coach, reminding you that the battle was not lost unless you accept defeat.